As we told you, the report was released on Friday ahead of tonight's virtual meeting hosted by the Kalamazoo City Commission and Citizens Public Safety Review and Appeals Board. Our Lauren Coomer listened to that discussion and has more on what some community members had to say about the report's findings. Community members and activists saying they're disappointed with the results of the third party's 111 page report. Some even voicing they thought the $75,000 price tag to conduct the investigation was a waste of taxpayer dollars. I, it definitely shed some light in a way where um, I think we were left with more questions than we did answers. Five community members calling in to the Tuesday meeting to share their thoughts on the results. One of those was community activist TC Custard, who was there as events unfolded last summer. After reading through 111 pages of a report, um, I feel like they coddled the information. I felt they coddled the story. That's how many of the other public commenters felt as well. The report had a lot of flaws and a lot of errors in it where things were not discussed and I felt as much as we paid for this study to be done that this group that was doing this study should have pressed on Kalamazoo Public Safety to give more details, to give more updates, to give more findings. While the report listed 40 recommendations after reviewing several incidents that took place between May 30th and August 15th, Custard says she felt like there was not enough transparency. There was, you know, parts of it where there was some extreme bias. And that's why I felt like those recommendations could have been dug deeper by getting more information. Custard adding she's interested in seeing how the recommendations are implemented and how the city moves forward, noting a change in leadership may be important. We want people to get back on the board. Um, the reality of it is this is not just a moment. This is something that we got to continue to ap apply pressure to and, and just stay aware. Fox 17 did reach out to the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety for an interview regarding the report, but did not yet hear back. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.